I'm going to speak about a handful of different topics. Instacart, a little dumpling, um, delivered, dividend investing, and artificial intelligence. And when we get there, oh, and how times are getting harder for a lot of people. And I finally put something together all about life experience. But let's start off with Instacart. I, when I was deciding on my pricing for my dumpling small business, in the beginning, people made many comments to me. You know, you can't tell people they have to tip you and whatever. Or you can't take an order if they say they're going to tip later. Well, it proved to me the two times I did, they didn't tip me. The people who say tip later. That was my experience. It's truth. It's honest. As a dumpling small business owner, building up a client base to shop for people regularly. This is a screenshot of Instacart. This is one. I did this today. I got this offer at 2 minutes to 11 a.m. today. I was so grateful. I snatched it right up. It was around the corner and it wasn't a hard order. The woman paid a $35 tip. Batch earnings, $11.57. Another one I did a couple of weeks ago, $40.27, batch earnings, A15. Then I have another one here from throughout the week. It was a few days ago, $27.77 was the tip. Batch earnings, $7.94. Small business owner trying to build up a client base. I'm doing exactly what Instacart shoppers do. I'm working for tips. Those high payout orders. And they sent me a lot of little ones. And I went, no, no, no. It was kind of a gray day, middle of the week. I usually get a couple of those high paying offers because nobody's really around in my market. Let's talk about delivered. I shared with you that a business is claiming they didn't get the food. I didn't know I received this text yesterday because, oh, maybe it was the day before now, or maybe it was just yesterday. Because um, the person reached out when I hit the Wanta Parkway and then Delivered started calling. And you know, I'm on the Parkway. I'm on my way to the second pickup. I'm not pulling over. I, I, it was too hard. I, I pressed the button to answer the phone with the speaker in the car, nothing connected. And I wasn't going to pull over and work harder just to reply. Call up Delivered or call up the restaurant. I delivered sealed bags. The person who ordered it, I believe it was a rep, the lunch isn't at the office. I was like, what? May I ask where it is? Three question marks. Did I not understand the first question mark? There wasn't 20 like I ordered. What did she mean by that? Now, Delivered has a picture of the person in this picture, but I cut it out because I don't want to share it on my video, but it shows. Let me show you. You see that plastic bag? The other one's behind it, already digging in, already cutting into it. I didn't even have the second plastic bag out of my delivery bag, and the worker was already shuffling through it, going, well, which is which? Which is labeled? Well, I don't know. You never gave me a chance. I took a picture. I got out of their way. And... They're claiming, first they claim they didn't get the food. And then they claimed, you saw those small to medium-sized lunch bags. They were folded, 
with a sticker with a meal in each one of them. I don't know if the restaurant gave me 20 because when I got there, she was wrapping up the last, the second bag and the other bag was already completed. And she was like, you could take that to the car. I was like, okay, no problem. So I did. I didn't count that. Now, if I do something like that again, I mean, how many do you count? Am I supposed to take every one of those bags out and display them on the table? Say there was, uh, I did one order when I first started. It was from Dave's Famous Barbecue, I think it's called. And I delivered a minimum of 50 boxes, maybe 60. I, I'm, you know, even though I took a picture, they were mixed with another order that another driver dropped off an hour before. How, how are you going to tell that? I truly feel that there was a lot of scamming going on there. I'm entitled to form an opinion. And um, actually, I'm disturbed that a business even, you know, went through the routine of trying to get something for free. That's how I feel. I'm allowed to feel that way. Now, before I go through some other pictures... I did, I completed that one large Instacart today and five Uber Eats deliveries. And I did a three order batch. I was very local today. I didn't work the whole day. I just went out in the afternoon for a little while. And when I picked up from a place called, I think it's called Kenko. It's at VMEs. I've mentioned this before. I walked in, I said, hi, how are you? And I showed her the name because we couldn't say it. I couldn't say it. She couldn't say it. And she said, can I see the order again? And she had a sheet. And it's all the Uber order numbers. And you have to sign next to it. And I said, I don't blame you at all. And she was like, I'm not saying you. I know you don't do it. But we're losing a lot of food. Drivers are canceling after they pick up the food. I don't mean you. I don't mean you. I'm like, no, it's okay. See, because she said, I haven't seen you in a while. Because I'm not delivering as often as I used to. And I'm like, really? This should have been done from day one. You got to make sure somebody is accountable if food is missing. Now, that's probably why Delivered wants to do that. That was a weird situation. I had a weird vibe when I went in. I'll never deliver to that office ever again. And it was a little far. Let someone else go and deliver to them. You get to pick and choose what jobs you want to take. I don't want to see these people again. Not at all. Okay. So that's what happened there. I didn't realize the rep was reaching out to me until after, like hours after. And I was like, wow, that's what she wrote. There wasn't 20. Where is the food? Well, you should ask the staff who was already digging in before I even had the second bag out of my delivery bag. Now, why show you this? Now, around this truck, I was just leaving my apartment. This is right on Merrick Road. This was this morning. I go, wow, I know what I'm witnessing. And I've witnessed this a few times in the past six months. This is the fourth time. I couldn't put it together. There was an officer taking off the plates, plates off truck. There's a flatbed in front of the truck, a cop car behind the truck. People can't pay for the cars. I, I watch um, Car Edge all the time. Used to be YAA and other car channels. And it's just another sign of the times that people who were struggling to give the impression that they're middle class can't, can't do it anymore. This isn't a brand new truck. I was like, I know what they're doing. They're reprocessing the car. Now, I've seen this many times in the past six months. I live in a very mixed area. That insults someone, so be it. Here and in the Baldwin area, I'm like, what are they doing? What are they doing to that poor woman and that young lady? Trunk open, cop coming up, other cop taking off the plates. 
one time, and then I, I put it together the last time. It was on Sunrise Highway, and I was picking up a delivery, and then I was dropping off down the street at Jaguar on Sunrise Highway. And when I came back to drop to to complete the delivery at the drop off, I saw the flatbed behind the car and the woman with the teenager and everything out of a car on the sidewalk, and they were repossessing the car. She couldn't keep up with the payments, or whoever the car belonged to. You're going to see that a lot more often. I thought I'd bring that up because now it leads up to something even more. It will get worse. We will witness a wipeout of class of people. Gregory Manorino talks about it all the time. Gerald Salente, I watched him tonight. They are 100% on the mark and so many other channels. Um, um, for the past few weeks, I've been developing, studying to learn, to develop more skills, to create more small streams of income. And that goes for my online business and in investing. And now I'm just going to use the pictures to make it a little easier very sad about that. I'm doing research with dividend stocks. I didn't buy any of these yet. I, however, I did buy my very first um, dividend stock that pays monthly. And I bought one because it's a lot of money. For the past three weeks, I added $25 to my Fidelity account because I want to... Invest money that I don't need to cash out immediately. You know, I plan on leaving in leaving that in for a very long time and create another small stream of income because now I understand more. I've been doing a lot of learning, a lot of research. I'm still going to rebuy those individual stocks that I sold to pay off credit cards, but I have to wait till the wash time completes. See, I'm learning a lot. And it's smart. To me, that's just another handful of small streams of income working in the background in my favor. And I will be sharing with you which ones I'm starting to buy. But I put $25 away a week for the past few weeks. That's all I can afford. You got to take baby steps to be great. But the point is, it's, I'm creating another stream of income working in my favor. Just another little stream. Now let's talk about this. Artificial intelligence. How to create YouTube videos within minutes using AI content creation tools. Mastering chat GPT and so many other artificial intelligent services available on the web now. For the past few weeks I've been doing that. How to make AI YouTube videos with chat GTP. That seems to be the main player. But there are other platforms offering artificial intelligence so you can push out content 10 times faster, 20 times faster. I did one. I'm going through the motions. And what used to take me about an hour to create a few paragraphs of original content, my concern was original content. But studying, I, put, I watched a few hours of videos today on top of the past couple of weeks, watching an hour here, watching an hour there, listening, reviewing examples of people teaching it online. If you are taking advantage of artificial intelligence like that to build an online presence that eventually that will help you get into the SERPs, that you could dish out work a hundred times fast. I mean, I couldn't believe what I produced. I said, okay, I watch, I told the chat GPT what I wanted, what I expected, and they dished out quality content. It dished out quality content. And then I put my own spin on it. I reworded it a little bit. And I'm also learning how to take content with different AI platforms to produce the most unique work possible because I don't want it to be like everyone else's because 
it's getting to the point where in a couple of years, everyone's going to be using chat GPT and artificial intelligence to help themselves build um, content, you know, create YouTube videos on the fly, like, you know, in a fraction of the time and bang out content. What used to take me an hour, I mean, I couldn't believe it. I was done in five minutes and I tweaked it. Now all I have to do is copy and paste it. Incredible. And it writes code for you. You can embed your affiliate links and you could you could say you say, please, can you do this? Do you understand? And the artificial intelligence, when it starts typing out the reply as if you're having a conversation with a human being, says, yes, I do understand. Incredible. So that's what I've been working on behind the scenes. You have to push away the world. You have to, st I mean, I just focus. A vacation for me is sleeping a few extra hours. Being alone quiet time. The answers come to you when it's quiet, when there's not too much noise around, especially an environment who really, they don't want you to change, but if you don't change to make other people happy, you're going to live in, you're not going to live the life that you're going to have a lot of regrets on your deathbed. So that's how I see it. I'm sharing my life experience. We're all in this together. We really are us independent contractors, us gig workers. I'm not just saying it and then it's not really true. It is true. Small business owners, entrepreneurs who see opportunity, watch AMTV. I, I, you know, sometimes he gets on a little bit of a religious kick, but you learn a lot from him. I happen to believe in his vision. Someday, maybe I'll join in, but I learn a lot from him. These are the kind of people I watch. Minority mindset. I forgot to show you him. He was the last one on here. Yeah. Five ways you can build wealth with chat GPT. Chat GBT, it's open, I think it's called openchat.io, well, I believe that's what it is, you'll figure it out, check it out, watch the videos, it's incredible, it was worth the studying, the learning, having it sink in, I'm going to use all this amazing revolutionary technology to my advantage. And for the good, not for the bad. I'll see you in the next video clip.